Hi guys, I'm not going to bore you with the details of this video. I've tried recording the intro to this like 10 million times. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe, go comment down below if you need any help. I'm going to speed run the fuck out of the tutorial. First, install Cloudflare for Ubuntu. Do a quick Google search, install the Debian package. Make sure it's installed natively, not through a Docker container. Um, this tutorial is not for installing it in a Docker container and using that. Um, use these commands here to install Docker. Use this command here to install Docker Compose. Then I'm going to need you to make a um, NPM Docker installation, uh, Docker container rather. So here is the command for installing Nginx Proxy Manager through Docker Compose. All you need to do is put all of this into a Docker Compose.yml file. Um, oh God, it automatically capitalizes and shit, but. It's, it's just a oh, fuck's off. Yeah, it's just that. Once you have Nginx Boxing Manager set up, it's just simple, simple docker compose up slash D. Um, I would also suggest installing Portainer to manage your docker containers, because if you've gone into the same rabbit hole as me, you're going to have a lot of docker containers. Um, once you get to Nginx Proxy Manager, uh, you need to go into Proxy Hosts, and then you're going to need to add a proxy host. Uh, this proxy host is basically going to be what do you want a certain subdomain of your domain to point to on your native home server, right? And so let's say I have a container called, well, I'll just use this one as an example. Um, this one is Homar, so if I go to just any thing here, so if I go to blah, 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 this automatically redirects to my dashboard for all of my media server. Now, let's say that we have another Docker container that we want to redirect to. So let's say... I can't exactly show any of these. <laughs> um... Sure, I'll show AMP. This is for like servers and stuff like that. If I wanted to redirect to this, I would make AMP dot this redirect to uh, the correct container network address on my server. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. However, <laughs> I'm sure it will once you realize how easy this is to do. So if I go into my Docker, uh, this is just Portainer. You don't need to worry about this. Now we want to make sure we have Nginx Proxy Manager running. So you can see here, I have this, which is running. And I'm going to hopefully unblur this, if I can. Uh, as long as it doesn't leak anything on my native network. Um, and then we need to make sure the name of the container is something short or recognizable, or, you know. And then in here, we're going to add a proxy host. We're going to set the domain name to your domain name. So let's say we wanted to make it nginx dot your domain dot your domain. Right. So this would be like nginx dot google dot co dot uk or whatever or dot com. Uh, and then we go to HTTPS or HTTP, depending on what it's running on. So if I go to my native server, this would be probably running on most likely HTTP. Um, all of my services run through HTTPS because I have an SSL certificate, just to make it so when you go to them for the first time, it doesn't say like, oh, this website's gonna hack you. It makes it much safer as well. Um, it just protects your website. You can get an SSL certificate through Cloudflare. Uh, I may, may do another tutorial about that in the future. I, I don't know. Um, this wants to be your container name. So it's probably going to be either 80, 81, or 443. I can tell you now because I'm going to help you. Nginx outputs to 81 on the HTTP protocol. Uh, once that's done, and then all you really need to do is just connect the two. 
And in order to do that, we go to here. This is your wild card. And then you want to set this one to your root domain. Um, I've got no clue what this one is. And then also set up the tunnel. Okay, so this is the page that you're going to want to be on. I'm going to have to blur this for obvious reasons. This shows my card flare tunnel ID. Um, but basically you have a tunnel ID under this header. And you want to use that to run your Cloudflare tunnel. Um, there is a configuration aspect. So if I go into SSH server and I go here and I CD into etc. I think I need to CD into Cloudflare. And then nanoconfig.yml. In here you set your tunnel ID. And you set your credentials file. Um, you you'll have to Google how to do that. Um, and then for the ingress, all you need to put is your wildcard and then your your like domain. Um, the two things that you added in your DNS section in your Cloudflare uh, DNS section. It's that simple. Um, once you've done that, then this should work just like this wow absolutely incredible if you need any help just give me a comment like and subscribe i'm sure this is probably the most terrible tutorial of all time but it's fine um i'll make up for it for trying to help as much as possible over comments uh these will be in the description thank you for watching goodbye